Man, it's just logical, right? It's just common sense, amen? But God is doing some great things. I believe that we are in a powerful season in the kingdom of God. I believe that we, how do y'all believe that we serve a sovereign God? I don't believe that we serve a God who is reactionary, but I believe that God knows all things. But he declared, Jesus declared of himself in the book of Revelations to the John the Revelator. He said, I am Alpha and I am Omega. I am the beginning and I am the end. He is sovereign. The psalmist David said he sits as the governor among the nations. He is sovereign God. Amen. The Bible said that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. He is a sovereign God. When Jesus began to deal with the sovereignty of God, he said, the kingdom of heaven is like a man who found a treasure in a field. And he went and he sold all of his possessions and he bought the field. He didn't buy the field for the field. He bought the field for the treasure. In so much as Christ did for us. The Bible said God loved the whole world that he gave his only begotten son. He bought the whole world and became the controller Amen. of the world to deal with the treasure. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm getting somewhere. I'm getting somewhere. Yes. But I believe that God is sovereign. Yes. I do not believe that anything that is going on in this nation or the nations around the world are in the control or in the hand of any man. I don't think that the current administration that we have in this country Amen. is being governed by the current administration. Amen. But I believe just like the psalmist David said, he sits as the governor uh -huh. among the nation. Oh, that's right. Glory. Hallelujah. Come on. Yes. We are not in the condition that we are in now because of the evil of the world. Amen. We are in the condition that we are in now because of the apathy of the church. Amen. Amen. God has just come to wake us up. Come on. He is sending uh, earthquakes in diverse places. Yes. He is sending calamity. He is sending wicked men not to judge the church, but to wake up the church. settle inside of them and say if you don't do it like we do it then you're not really doing it <laughs> but the devil is a liar come on somebody that's nothing but confusion that's nothing but confusion the devil is the author of confusion but the bible said that God is the author of order as in all the churches he alone sits sovereign over this earth and he sits sovereign over his church. Yes, you're right. Yes, you're right. I'm going to tell you what we're experiencing at New Destiny in Kingsport. We are experiencing a revival of faith. Yes. A revival of faith. We're no longer comfortable with the situation that we find ourselves in. Right. But we have come to realize, my brethren, that if anything is going to change, uh -huh. it is not because Jesus Christ uh -huh. is going to step foot on this earth. Uh -huh. When he comes back again, he'll set his rule on uh -huh. this earth. Uh -huh. But until he gets here, he has set a church on the earth uh -huh. to get the job done. Uh -huh. We are here right now establishing. Uh -huh. yes. We are here right now we are here right now producing Amen. a kingdom that Jesus Christ himself Amen. will come and sit on the throne of his throne. Oh, I'm on. telling you, you are part of a profound generation. Yes. And God is getting ready to do some yes. great things. He is making us up. We are coming to find out that we cannot sleep and the kingdom of God be a
statistics the other day. I ain't got it. The United States church, 65% more women go to church than men. That's right. Right. Which calculates to over a million more women men? Where are in the church <laughs> than there are men. Yeah. Now, oh, sisters, yeah, I'm, I'm not complaining yeah. that you're in the church. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But where's our men? Oh, my God. We must transition. Most of the men that come to church statistically are coming because they're accompanying their companion, their wife. My God. Come on. Because they see no use. My God. The, the church is no use to them. My God. Because the church has been so full of women that we've catered. My God. But God's making a transition. Come on. Yes, oh, God in heaven right now. Yes, yes. See, inside of a man is the seed. That's right. yes. Inside of a man is the seed to produce. Amen. And as long as the enemy can cut off the producer of the seed, mm. then he yeah. cuts off the life. Mm. The, at some point, it stops. At some point, you can no longer produce once the seed's been cut off. But I'm telling you, there is a revival coming among the men in the body of Christ. But we can't do things the way we used to do it. Come on, somebody. To every generation, there's somebody that's got to stand up and say, I've got to reach that generation. Yes. Yes. In other words, when in any generation, music changes. Yeah. They change the style of music. Right. They change the way they sing music. Right. They do it to change to reach the generation. The world is far more intelligent than the church is. That's right. But we're supposed to be wise as a serpent. That's right. If the methods are not working, the definition of insanity is to do what you've always done yet expect a different result. If we want a different result, then we've got to do something we've never done to get something we've never had. That's right. Yes. And you are part of that generation that has said enough is enough. Enough is enough. People say, one of the things that really irritates me is when I hear, well, there's not going to be much faith on the earth when the Lord returns. But Jesus himself said, when the Son of Man returns, I don't find any faith on the earth. And so we, we just sink into that. And we decide the reason why nothing's getting better is because the love of many is waxing cold. And the faith is beginning to wane. But my Bible does not tell me that. For John the Revelator said, I saw a number which no man could number coming up out of great tribulation, having washed their robes white in the blood of the Lamb. A number which no man could number. That does not mean faith is waning. That means faith is increasing. Yeah. For where sin does abound, grace does yes. more abound. Hallelujah. What we're going to see at the end of this age is not a decline of faith, but you're going to see a resurrection of faith. And I feel the spirit of resurrection yeah. starting to hit the church. Yeah. We have been.